Hi guys, back again with another setup video and we finally made it. We're at the season closing Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This is a circuit which has been on the calendar for over 10 years now and it's a track which is distinctly different in each of its three sectors. To create a good car setup around Abu Dhabi, you need to take into account each of these sectors and you need to ensure that you have enough straight line speed otherwise you'll struggle to make forward progress during the race. As with all of our setups, this is a race setup designed for 50% races or longer and they can be used in league racing. If this setup helps you out, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more F1 2020 content. So, jumping straight into the setup itself. Deciding on the route to go through this setup is mainly dictated by the two extremely long straights in the second sector. We need to ensure that we carry enough speed throughout these sections of the track. Start by setting your aero to 3 and 7. Running a low front wing will give us the best straight line speed while giving us just enough bite to get the car turned in through the slower corners. To ensure you have enough traction out of the slower corners and onto the long straights, set your on throttle diff to 50%. Then go for an off throttle diff of 65%. This should give you a little extra rotation at slower speeds. We've set up our camber to give us a little more angle on the front compared to the rear. This will help carry a little more speed through the faster corners. Then set your toe to its minimum value to give us a little extra top speed potential. Throughout a lap of Abu Dhabi, you'll find yourself riding over the curbs a lot. This is key to finding speed during the second half of the lap. So opt for a really soft suspension setup. We go with 1 and 4 on the suspension and 4 and 8 on the anti-roll bars. Then we go with 2 and 4 on the ride height. If you find you're struggling over some of the curbs, increase your ride height to 3 and 5. There are some very heavy stops around Abu Dhabi, so go with a brake pressure of 97% and a brake bias of 50%. This balanced brake bias will help avoid any lockups through the fast middle and final sector. Finally, go for tyre pressures of 22.2 at the front and 19.5 at the rear. Rear traction is key around Abu Dhabi and tyre wear can be an issue, so these lower pressures should really help. And that'll do it for our Abu Dhabi race setup and for our F1 2020 dry setup series. This setup should give you a nice soft car allowing you to attack every corner around the season finale. If it helps you out, Pop this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more F1 content. And I just wanted to close this video by saying a huge thanks to you guys for helping this small channel of ours grow so quickly and hit 3,000 subs. Here's to the next 3,000. As usual, I'll leave this video with a little bit of racing and until next time, see you on track. a new fastest lap of the race.
approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. We're leading our teammate by 2.9 seconds. Nice work, that brings you up a place. 